Hey all you cool cats and kittens, thank you so much for joining us for the opening of Browse Hill Family Vets, the clinic. Okay, we are out the front and we, <laughs> oh yeah, and my husband, <laughs> I forgot you could see him. <laughs> it's Jimmy Exotic here. Jimmy Exotic here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to cut the caution tape and we're going to open the clinic and then we're going to take you on a tour around the clinic. So we hope you enjoy it. All right. Need to turn. I'm turning. Okay. You ready to cut the tape? Well done, B. All right. Woo! <laughs> so delicate. We're in the clinic. It's time for a proper, you know, grand opening dress. Woohoo! Woo! Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> so, this is the gorgeous reception area. Favorite bit is the patient wall at the front. All right. All right. Oh, good. Congratulations, Belinda. Check him out. <laughs> Thanks, hon. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> everyone, I'm seeing everyone. Um, okay, so this is our reception area um, and the dog waiting room. So the dogs will be down this end. Okay, where the kids are sitting. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be our nice dog waiting area. Um, we're going to show you a little video. Um, it's going to be a little bit odd because we have to do it. It doesn't stream very well from our computer. So we're going to do it um, through the phone, um, stream it through the phone, and, um, and then we'll come back and show you the next bit of the clinic because we're just going to kind of do little bits and then move around and introduce you to the staff and stuff as we go um, because obviously we can't all be together but we can be it all together online together, so, okay. And look out, there's more of my terrible acting coming. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. We just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us um, tonight for the grand opening of Rouse Hill Family Vets, the clinic. Um, it's not how we wanted to do it. We wanted to do it in person and have a big celebration but just like what happens in Tiger King, shit ain't normal. The tigers are safer. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy a bit of fun tonight. It's going to get weird. Um, but hey, why not? And uh, we're going to show you around the clinic tonight and we're going to have a bit of fun with it as well. So we hope you join in with us and look forward to sharing a toast with you at the end. See you there. Okay, so I think it's time to show you the cat area. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so that's my husband making weird noises. So this is the cat waiting area. So we've kept the cat waiting area separate from the dog waiting area because cats like to have their own little spots. You see, we've got, um, which way do I need to turn it? It's very hard with a laptop. We've got nice shelving for the cats over there. And then we have cat and dog specific consult rooms. So I'm gonna take you into the cat specific consult room. Special guest this evening, Jimmy Exotic with his tiger, Lily. Cute <laughs> She's very cute, isn't she? <laughs> She's a bit spicy. Um, <laughs> she can be a spicy kitty. Uh, so this is our cat console room. We'll obviously have fell away pumping. It's definitely a no dog zone. Oh, look, James is opening some cupboards to show you. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's a uh, it's gonna be a really nice place for the cats to come away from the puppy dogs, um, and we're just going to get the dogs to show you the dog consult room. Look, this is running really. Oh hi! Sorry, I'm just like seeing all my patients popping up. I'm like, oh, there they are. Look at those eyes. Yes, you're having a look at the cat consult room, aren't you? 
There you go. You could explore that room. <laughs> We're missing the dogs, but the dogs are coming because they want to be join. They want to join in as well. Hello, my name is Emma. I am going to be one of the nurses at Rouse Hill Family Vets when it opens. Um, I'll also be doing some practice management work as well. Um, you may already know me. I have worked for Belinda for nearly a year, um, but very excited for the clinic to open. I'm very excited for this new chapter. Um, I've been nursing for about seven years now, going on seven years, and I love what I do. Um, my little family consists of my husband, my daughter, I have three beautiful fur kids, um, or fur dogs, Rory, Sadie, and Lila. And then I also have two kitties, Jackson and Lucy. And I have a 55-year-old cockatoo called Charlie. Um, if I was to be any animal and why, I would be a koala. The reason being, their food is in front of them all day. They get to sleep most of the day and they are so cute. So who wouldn't want to be so cute, have your food delivered straight to you and sleep most of the day? Perfect life for me. Look forward to seeing you all when it opens. Please come up and say hello and I can't wait for this next chapter. Bye. Not sure where they are, but they will be here shortly. Um... <laughs> oh, I can hear the dogs. All right, we're going to come into the dog consult room. Hi, boys. So Georgie's got the dogs in the dog consult room. Oh, my gosh. It's the crazy kid. Hey, Elmo. My terribly behaved dog. So I'm sure I've told you all about how my dogs are not very well behaved <laughs> um, and that I'm a terrible dog trainer. Um, and you've probably all seen me in action when I've trained your dogs to bark at me um, for food. <laughs> but um, this is our dog consult room, very similar to the cat consult rooms, but it's just um, for dogs only. Okay. Now, I think we're going to play another video, weren't we? Hi, my name's Brittany, and I'm joining the Rouse Hill Family Vets team as a nurse. I've been nursing for about four and a half years now and I absolutely love my job. At home, I have four animals, four pets. <laughs> um, one cat named Warner, a toy poodle cross Maltese named Roxy, um, a little baby 12 week old Cocker Spaniel cross Cavalier named Franklin and a son Konya named Neville. <laughs> if I um, could be a any animal and why um, I would probably be a giraffe I've never been very tall <laughs> um, and they also have um, you know they're big gentle giants so they have a nice um, kind nature as well can't wait to meet you all bye okay I'm gonna take you through to the pharmacy now so this is our lab area. Um, so we've got in-house blood machines so we can be running blood work for your pets when they come into the clinic if they get sick. Um, so we're able to do full biochemistry as well as hematology, um, which are the main things that you want to know about if your pet is sick. Um, and then we've got down here, we've got our microscope as well. So we can um, look at samples under the microscope and um, like diagnose certain lumps, have a look at ear cytology. Um, look at urine samples under the microscope as well. So it's our fancy little um, pharmacy area. We seem to have got a tiger where the autoclave should be now. Wow. So, <laughs> so that's the sterilization <laughs> area. <laughs> um, so this is where we will have our autoclave, which it should hopefully come tomorrow. Um, so this is where we um, get all our equipment ready to go. Um, having a minor technical glitch. I think at the moment, <laughs> which is the standard theme of, I think Zoom meetings, Zoom fails, right? Like that's how most of them have to go. Hi, my name is Josie Parsons. My job is puppy cuddler. And my pet is Elmo and Charlie. Uh, Charlie's outside and Elmo's here. I would like to be a puppy because they're cute, cuddly, and, and sometimes they smile. And I like that because I smile lots of times and cuddle a lot and be kind every day. Now, 
got, I think we've got a bunny rabbit with a sore leg, don't we? Quick, sticks. Now, where's Georgie? Okay, sorry guys, I'm just um, looking for, you know, missing children. <laughs> Tell you what, it's hard to get good actors around these days. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is coming to you live from the x-ray room and the treatment area. Here we have Hippity Hop Hop and he <laughs> fell down and drained. Oh yeah, and he's Georgie's pet. <laughs> and today we, and somebody pulled um, Hippity Hop Hop out and saw he had a scratch in his leg. And today we are going to see if he has a broken leg or not. So let's go to the X-ray room to take an X-ray. Put him on the table. Perfect. Everyone out the room. X-ray. Oh no, Hippie Hop Hop has a broken leg. We need to do surgery on him. Oh hi there, I'm Lily from Rouseville Family Vets. My job at Rouseville Family Vets is a junior receptionist, but I have no experience being a vet or a nurse or even a groomer. My pets are two adorable fur boys, Charlie and Elmo. You can search them up on the internet, but when you search me up on the internet, they don't, I don't show up. I would be a kitten because they are sweet, so soft and cuddly and also sometimes they bite and I think that represents me well because I have a dark side because I do martial arts and then also I'm, if you know me well, I'm sweet, I'm sweet that I always like care about you, I'm, I'm like a soft, like I'm kind of soft <laughs> and um, as Kylie, I like to cuddle sometimes, but I can't do it now because of COVID-19, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the surgery room. You can probably just cut through it. <laughs> hey, so Georgie's gonna be our surgeon. Lily's the anaesthetist. And you see, so this is our surgery room. Um, it's, this is for sterile surgery only. We have um, a nice, beautiful new operating table. We've got over here, we've got a fancy um, pulse oximeter and um, blood pressure reader and end tidal CO2 and ECG and temperature monitor. So it does all those sorts of things um, on top of our anaesthetic machine there. Um, the girls are still working, they're doing better at orthopaedics than me. Anyone who knows me as a vet knows I don't do any orthopaedics. I phone a friend for that one. Um, oh, how's the leg going, Georgie? It's a bit deep. It's a bit deep? And I can see a rock in there. A rock in there? But sometimes there's rocks in there. You start to take a look at it. We won't highlight the fact they're using dental extractions at the moment. <laughs> Use that to stitch it up. Good job. I squeeze it together and stitch it. <laughs> They're taking this far more seriously than I thought they would. They're doing an amazing job with equipment that's not really designed to do what it's going to be doing. Nice job, Georgie. I like your technique. All right. I think it's time to meet another staff member. So I'll just get the phone up and running again. Hey guys, my name's Kitty and I am one of the nurses at Rouse Hill Family Vets. I have been nursing for almost two years now. I have a degree in animal science and zoology. I am doing a Masters of Wildlife Health and Conservation and I am working towards becoming a vet. I have many fur kids of my own. I have eight cats, three dogs, a chicken, a duck, a cockatoo and a snake and if I could be any animal I would love to be an African wild dog because I think that they are incredibly cool, really cute, super fierce and they all look out for one another and I think that they are all important qualities to have. I cannot wait to meet you and your fur kids and go on this journey with my incredible team and I will be seeing you very soon at Rouseville Family Vets. Yay. 
Awesome. So that's um, Nurse Kitty. So um, we are going to take you round now to see. <laughs> oh, this is such a smooth operator operation as I'm looking at the family going, get in there. Okay, we're going to take you around to show you um, the isolation ward and also going to show you the dog hospital. Um, so I'm just waiting on the family to get in their positions and hopefully it'll be worth the wait when they get around there. I'm not even sure if James is in on Oh, nice. That's, they're gonna love that. All right, let's go into isolation and see who's in isolation. So this is our little isolation ward in here. <laughs> Joe Exotic here. <laughs> oh, I'm being let out in a few years time, please help me. <laughs> Actually, I think he wish he could hang out there because he's been homeschooling the kids for the last two weeks. So I think he'd probably prefer to be in this isolation than his current isolation. Um, all right, now let's go into the dog hospital. Um, for some reason, the cat is in the dog hospital ward. <laughs> and I don't know where the dogs actually have gone. So I'm locked in here. you're locked in there. Okay, good. Now my, my daughter actually can't get out. So that's even better. So now that I know that she can't get out, um, I know where I'm going to send her. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Up next on the tour is the grooming room. Do I have to that? No, this is my tiger. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you can shave some of the uh, Shave my well. box. Just a little bit. That'll do. <laughs> So this is the grooming room. We still don't have a grooming bath and anyone who knows about the grooming bath knows that's been quite a saga. But the bath is coming. I'm hoping it'll be here this week. Um, but this is our beautiful little grooming salon. Oh. Hey. Good old <laughs> James has never had so much hair in his life. Um, anyone who knows James knows that he's actually got like a... Shiny boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, okay. Oh, cat face. Cat face. Uh, we're just working out what's next on this very smooth operation. I put my phone over there. All right. We do the cat ward. All right. We're going to show you cat ward. We've seen dog ward. Cat ward is nice and hidden away, and it's upstairs. We pre-recorded this as well because, well, we were trying to be organised, and then Zoom's bitten us in the bottom, and it's not working, is it? So anyway. Let's get this up and running so you can see what the cat ward looks like oh, in one moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, all my Rouse Hill legends. How you going? This is the cat room. In here, we've got one of my fine specimens. Oh. Wow. Oh. Jimmy Exotic. This is where all the cats will see out as well, this gorgeous view. God damn, we are good to these cats, huh? 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 Love you all. Okay, so our cat cages haven't come yet, but when the cat cages come, we will show you um, their little kitty cat condos that they're going to have. Um, so yeah, oh, hi, I just thought that nice, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not jumping on the table and eating your dinner. <laughs> oh, better mannered than my two. Um. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm like a super, super hyperactive. Like I don't ever sit still. Bless you. Bless you. Yes, and he was a rescue boy and he has generalized anxiety. Can you tell? And he's Elmo. Good boy, Charlie. He's Elmo. Elmo was a failed therapy and assistance dog um, and he is so gorgeous. Look at that handsome boy. Um, and he has been with us for a couple of years as well. Um, he also has a generalized anxiety disorder. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Good boys. 
So despite the fact that this Zoom meeting has been slightly disjointed, um, we do actually use Zoom meetings for consults now. So the clinic opens officially tomorrow. Hey! Yay! <laughs> and um, because the clinic opens officially tomorrow and there's this whole coronavirus situation going on, we know that um, we don't want to put our community and our staff at risk. So unfortunately, I've made the decision that we won't be allowing clients in the clinic initially, um, but we will be letting you in through Zoom meetings. So basically what happens is we'll be doing a fairly contactless handover out in the car park for any appointments, and then we'll be joining you via Zoom so you can still see your fur babies the whole time they're in here. Um, and it's like you're just right there with us, chatting away, asking questions, um, and seeing that we will, we will give them back, I promise. Um, sometimes I want to keep them all, but James has banned me from taking in more pet time. So you will get them back. <laughs> all right, so we want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you've had fun. It's been a bit silly, um, but we are just really excited to be opening this today. So. Just a shame about the timing, but bear with us and we will get there. So we're looking forward to seeing, seeing you all very, very soon. So. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Great. Woo. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo. So good. Cheers. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank everyone. you. All righty. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the clinic soon. Cheers, and, guys. Uh, we'll be doing some stuff for you guys when you come in. So um, we've got like cute little dog biscuits that have been made for our, our dog patients when they come in. Um, and we, we've got some other little things that are happening too that aren't quite ready yet, but we'll share that with you as well. So um, we want to spoil our patients when they come into the clinic. So yeah, we look forward to seeing you in here soon and we're going to sign off and uh, we'll see you bright and early from nine o'clock tomorrow. Thank you for supporting us. Cheers. Good luck for you. Bye. 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 Thank <laughs> you.